Heather, thank you for being here. We fucking see you and we love you. Thank you so much, Preston. Great intro. So like, I'm like, ooh, who is this? I'm honored. I'm honored. No, so can, I, I, I appreciate you. Yes. And thank you, you because I really do feel you as a real one too. And from the beginning, that was so significant when it was like spirituality wasn't so popular. It wasn't so much a trend. We were looked at as even bigger weirdos than we are now where it was just way more rare. And from the start, I always paid attention to who's actually showing up in this space when it's not that cool, when there isn't so much support. And you were one of the real ones. You were just from the start like, oh, I see your content. I like what you're doing. I know what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Let's support each other. And from the start, I was just like, oh, okay. He's a real one. Facts. Here's what I wanna <laughs> ask you to break down. Um, mm -hmm. for the people who aren't following you, I'm going to suggest that you do because she's freaking awesome and dynamic. Again, one of my favorite things about you is you doing push-ups and kickboxing yeah. and weird yeah. faces and yeah. Yeah. dancing and twerking <laughs> and, and then teaching yeah. vibrational codes and all the other stuff. But yeah. for, for the people who are brand new, who don't know, um, you guys can't see me. You're saying you can't, people are saying they can't see the host. You can't see me. Um, and Heather, put your name on social media. Oh, there, there we go. People are yes. putting it there. They're going to start. Um, yeah. So for the people who don't know you, what is it that you do in the world? Mm, that's a really good question. <laughs> I feel like I help to calibrate frequencies. I help to activate frequencies. I really do like the activation vibration, which is my, my like frequency name is so accurate because there's so many different types of activations that can happen, whether it is, a soul awakening, whether it is an acknowledgement of abundance, the 5D reality that exists, whatever it is, the frequency of it, whatever we want to manifest in physical form, the frequency of it at the core, that is what is most important. And that's where we begin. That's where we start. So I, I get to the, to the root of the vibration of the frequency and I begin from there. And yeah, so much from that. So much comes from that. Okay. So um, you just had a women's retreat. Yep. Yep. All right. And it looked mm -hmm. like there was about, what, 70 something women there? Yep. Yeah. Is that, is, that the, is that the first time you've done that? Or is that a thing you do as well? That is the 22nd retreat I've done. So. Okay. okay. <laughs> awesome. I absolutely love that. Where do you live? California, San Diego, Oceanside. Okay. And where'd you grow up? The Bay Area. Got it. And if you could help people understand how you got your start. Mm, mm. Yes. Well, it's interesting that you even uh, asked me where I'm from. There's a, for some reason, something wants to come through a message for certain people here. Your environment, the land that you're at is so vital and so important. You don't have to live in a certain area in order to be supported energetically, but to visit the lands, mm. to visit certain lands. If people here are feeling called to certain lands, certain locations, there's a reason for it. But yes, how did I start? Honestly, life gave me gifts of a reality that basically gently forced me to awaken and to see this reality. And honestly, once I started to tune into the frequency of what is actually real on a vibrational standpoint, it was no going back. It was no going back. Mm. <gasps> I love this. Mm -hmm. um, I like your so, wizard staff too. So thank you. Staff. Thank you. Beautiful. It is my African walking stick. That's an- I love it. Oh my God, gorgeous. It's onk. Yep. Um, so- Help us, or can you help me understand how you view abundance and money? Because mm -hmm. you you are a millionaire, and most mm -hmm. people wouldn't quote unquote because you don't lead with your business, just like John oh, Wyman right. or anyone else like that. But you to right. be a millionaire, to be anywhere close to it, you have to be a beast at marketing and business. And so, can yes. you help us understand how you view money, abundance, yeah. and business? Totally. Yeah. First and foremost money comes through and money, richness, wealth 
is an abundant, it's, it comes through the abundance frequency, the abundance frequency. And first and foremost, that is where I begin the energetics of abundance. So even in terms of, I mean, I've been doing this for like 10 years now. And the first, I'd say eight and a half, nine years of my business, I did not try. I did not try. It really was just pure, authentic desire to create. And that is what brought me my millions. That's where mm. I've made the best money. So for me personally, I love hearing the business coaches who are like, be on point, have a specific message, do only stick to that message and look this certain way, have to have these colors, you better dress in those same colors. That whole vibe and frequency is just like divine. I love it, but that is just so the opposite of me. It's so the opposite of me where I am just about frequency, authenticity, realness. I don't plan my marketing. I don't plan my strategy. It works. And when I do try to, to be honest, this isn't for everyone, but when I try to personally, it's just not a frequency match. It's like, it's almost like the energy is expired if I've planned it way in advance and then haven't had it, it becomes stagnant for me personally. And so this can be for the vibrational beings, like the extra energy beings. It's just pure authenticity, whatever is natural, whatever is actually on your heart, the passion that you have, that is what has actually made me millions is just like, what feels the best in every moment? How can I show up in my true authentic form? And what do people actually need? And what feels good? What feels good? For me, I'm all about that frequency of feeling good. That will get infused into your work, into what you create. And then that's what will actually bring you real mm. wealth, long-term sustainable wealth. Facts. Okay. So let me just pull on this for a little bit, because this is really yes. beautiful. I think I live in the intersection of that. Right? I, I, ha I have the friends who are like extremely strategically planned out for the next yep. 48 years of their lives. Yep. And then there's the people like yourself who are like, bitch, I ride the wave yes. and life fucking does what it does. Right. Yes. And I, I think I like, I swim like here, like more on, more on that side yep. but with you know the team and the planning and all that stuff yep. and what i think that people need to hear I, I know they're getting it i know they're seeing it is that what as an quote-unquote outsider perceiving you what i say to myself is she lets her freak flag fly one two she amplifies the abundance that's within her with no apology Right? I don't feel any like, ah, oh, I shouldn't, or a woman should be like right. this, right. or a, a woman coach should dress like this. Right. Or, it's just, nope. rah! Yes. And that, that energy is so attractive that people, they yeah. want their version. It magnetizes, yep, yep, mm. yep. Thank I you. I, I love, love that, it. and I so feel that for you too, and that's what I love so much even about you, is that we need that balance. We need not only an example of the balance, but to see you and what you create and the energy you bring in that, it's priceless. It's so divine. It's unique. That is your medicine. So yeah, I love that. Thank you for even just, there's also a middle spectrum too for everyone. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. I wouldn't say I'm in the middle. I'm probably more on the side where, where yep. you are. The frequency. But, yep. Yes. But the, it's, it's the both and, right? It's the strategy. Totally. It's the somatic body. It's the frequency. It's the energetics of the thing. Because a totally. lot of times what we want, first of all, what you want wants you. What you seek yeah. is seeking you. Now, what does that mean? It doesn't just mean like that, like for instance, my my G-Wagon wanted me, right? It, 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 it's the, the, the frequency of love wants to be amplified, yes. right? It, it, it wants to be moved through. My children, I have four beautiful little nuggets <laughs> my children are such a big yes to whatever is coming through them that the the universe just amplifies that thing for the time that it's there and then it's yep. gone and can you talk to us about what it means to be a clear channel in yes that way? yes absolutely <clears throat> and even what you're speaking to specifically the frequency of abundance that that is a consciousness the abundance frequency, it is a consciousness. So when people are like, what even is that? It's a consciousness of reality that exists where everything is infinite, eternal, and abundant. Everything exists all at once. There is no lack. 
There is no greed. It is pure abundance. So in that frequency that you're speaking to, that's what it is. They mm. simply are just, when you allow yourself to surrender to the actual reality that is, I mean, nature is the formula of abundance. Nature, no matter what season it is, no matter if it dies, it comes back in abundance. The flowers become more beautiful next harvest. The mm. seeds keep being planted. The tr trees keep growing. More leaves ke keep coming. Nature is abundant. Nature yeah. is absolutely abundant. So when you tune into that natural rhythm of nature, literally the formula of life, mm -hmm. you tune into that, you can see everything is abundant. Everything is eternal. Everything is infinite. So actually those things, there's so many of those things. There's so much money out in the world, so much money. It does want you. Some of that actually does want you. It actually wants to find a home. It mm -hmm. wants you as well. So there is this symbiotic mutual relationship exactly that allows for you to actually embody a different state of consciousness. And that's when those things are literally magnetized to you, even right. as you're saying straight up attracted to you. Correct. What I've come to understand is that the more I recognize the abundance that is here now, the more of it becomes magnetized towards me. Yes. Can you help us understand? Is that how you view it? Yeah, totally. Absolutely. And I even think like their gratitude is a frequency all things feel. Like when mm. you feel grateful for something, when something feels appreciated, even if it is a seeming inanimate object, everything is energy at the core. Even anything physical is derived of energy. If you appreciate it, it feels great. It feels appreciated. It will mm. want you back. It will literally want you back. Facts. Facts. Okay. So talk to us about, let's just say there's something you desire to experience in life, right? And and you can literally give us this right now. Maybe it's a relationship or this or that. What is your manifestation process around that? Mm. Oh, I love that. Okay. When I'm ready to call something in, I will first, first and foremost, it's so important for me to feel the actual frequency of it. So say it is like for now, I'm like, I, I think I'm ready to move into a new place. I love my home here. I'm right on the beach, but I want a big yard. So I'm starting to already put myself in the energy of like in the mornings, walking outside and literally acting like this is my backyard, just like acting like my front yard, th this like public little area is my backyard and just relaxing for a few minutes. Oh, I love this. I will be not wearing any clothes in the future when this is closed off. Like I, I it feels so great. <laughs> like I'm putting myself in that, that <laughs> actual reality every day. And then I'm doing my certain things where I'm actually taking action. And I mm -hmm. feel like that is so important. Everyone like looks at me and may think, Oh, she doesn't really do anything. She manifests everything. I manifest through aux intentional action, mm. actual intentional action Correct. always at the same time. So there will be some form of that where, whether it's like, okay, I'm actually going to look for some listings or I'm going to like, make sure my money is right or put things mm -hmm. in a certain place as if the, the house came in today and I'm ready to buy it. And then this is probably the most important part. So you're putting yourself in the actual reality. You're taking tangible steps. Then it is, and the frequency, then it is really just releasing and being grateful for it. I'm so grateful. I've, I'm tuning into the other realities where I have had a yard before. I have laid in a yard before. I've stayed at homes that have had yards before. This is so effortless and easy. I love having this home. I love having this yard. I love having this heart that can even feel this capacity of how joyful this experience is. I'll move into all of those energies and then straight up, just release it. Yes. Straight up, release it. Like, and... I am so good, even if it doesn't happen. That part. And I am so good, even if it doesn't happen, if it never, and I'm still so good. That felt good. That yes. experience, that ritual, that practice of taking action, of putting myself in it, of feeling good feels, that was fulfilling enough. And I'm good. And I'm good. Facts, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the beautiful thing is, and a lot of people don't necessarily understand this on a conscious level, is if you do that often, Yes. What happens What happens to your vibration? Oh, instantly raises your vi vibration and frequency. And if you do it consistently, 
you're just going to be maintaining a higher frequency. That, literally yep. that. Yep. Like that's my whole, that's one of the biggest things that has occurred yep. in my life is I'm, I've changed the base level from where I live. So mm -hmm. I, I'm just, I, this is where I lay at. This is where I sit yep. at. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Exactly. That's just where you operate at a higher frequency. And then literally, and you know, Preston, from that space, everything is so much better. Mm -hmm. Every conversation you have, every interaction you have, even messages you get online. Oh, that's kind of a divine message for me. Okay. That's great. I love hearing that. You yes. talk to someone at the post office. They didn't just take my new, my papers. They like, we had an actual connection. We tapped in about this topic. Yes. That was so beautiful. Everything is so much more fulfilling. Your workouts that you do, you feel so good. You have, it's like an orgasmic workout. Everything changes when you're at that frequency. So there's a line in conversations with God that says you cannot mm. have what you want, but you may experience what you have. Mm. And to me, this is exactly what we're speaking to. Yep. Right. If, if I'm having um, a deep gratitude for the backyard that's on its way or yep. something better or something different, if I'm having it, then when it occurs, it just feels like Tuesday because I've been doing exactly. it so much. Exactly. 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 Right? Yes. And then yes. if it doesn't occur, it's the divine trust and understanding that if I've made it this far, right? There, something's doing the thing that, let me yep. ask you about that. So do you believe yep. in a, like a, a <laughs> divine entity, like a, a particular God, or do you sort of, how do you see it? What, what is doing this? It's, it's to me, it's universal frequency, which is God. It, they're all in one. It is God. Mm. There, there is, it does feel like God but God is also everything, the, the universal frequency of where mm. it is also the universe. And there's different dynamics. I do feel that there is a universal formula and you can, you can, as weird as this may sound, you can be not honoring God necessarily, mm. but following a universal formula yes. and be rewarded. Facts. Facts. It, the, it, question it, is, yeah. the question is, is can you keep it? And can yes. you feel it? There's a yeah. lot of people with Ferraris yeah. who are empty as fuck. There's yeah. a lot of people with jets who don't feel the yeah. love that yeah. somebody who washes the bathrooms feel. So yeah. we have to redefine the, the abundance in general. Yeah. And I believe, here's what I love about you. And I love this about me. As we both get that, right? Yes. No matter how much comes or goes, I get that right where I am, God is. And love mm -hmm. is, and I can operate from the deepest levels of gratitude and open my body and say, spirit, use me. Yes. Right? That's yep. really big. Yep. That is being a channel. Exactly. That is being a divine channel. It's allowing yourself to feel the frequency, to actually have it in your heart, mm -hmm. to know of the value beyond monetary, physical experience of it. Yes. That is divinity. That's being a channel. Facts. Okay. Mm -hmm. So... One of my last questions is around, because um, when I decided to step into this work, period, uh, a big part of it was I was going to be real as fuck er, along the yep. whole journey. Yep. And I find you to be one of those people too. So what I want to understand, and I think this would be helpful, because I, I believe that some people are looking at you um, and they go, oh, of course, she's pretty, she's white, right. she's perfect right. hair, et cetera, et cetera, right? What is it that you are currently moving through, working on, or opening yourself to that feels vulnerable for you? Oof. Oh, oh, that is that is a powerful question. I'm getting to move through the energy right now. Oh, this is good. My whole life, I've had baby fever. Literally, mm. I was one of those little girls who was straight up, everyone's like, I want to be a boss, babe. I was like, I'd like to be a mother of four. Literally, specifically, like that was always it. For me, I always thought, I was like, oh, I'm going to for sure have my babies by 25. I'm going to be a young mom. That's what I'm going to do. As I started to get older, it was so clear to me that, whoa, I'm being guided on this path. Even if I want to kind of like go this direction, I am being so guided to do and be this. And so I've followed that and I've done that. And it's felt so strongly where I'm like, my dream is to have babies yet 
I feel like I'm supposed to be here. And for the first time, I feel things starting to shift where I'm like, oh, maybe I am ready. I feel my timeline starting to shift. And that is very vulnerable for me, where it's like very exciting and it is dream come true. But at mm. the same time, this is what I've known for 30 years. Yes. So, yeah. That. Oh, yeah. man. I love that you answered that. <laughs> and I love that you answered it in the way you did. I've, I've shared with everybody here that I don't tell you guys what I'm going to ask you um, because yeah. it's going to yeah. inform the conversation. Um, yeah. Yeah. So as we close, I got to get ready for Kate Northrup. Um, awesome. I, I, I want to give you, have you, give you the stage for final words and just remind everybody that if you took pictures of this, of her, of me, to tag us both and to make sure you follow her. She's a beast. Her music is next level. She's a channel and a dope artist. So mm. final words. Thank you. Appreciate you. So grateful to be here. And last thing I'll give you guys all is <clears throat> money will feel about you how you feel about it. So mm. if you feel about money, oh, money's got my back. Money is always there for me, no matter what. I don't care what situation I'm in. Money always comes through. I am so abundant. Money loves me. Money is always there for me. If you feel that about money, it will feel that towards you. Facts. Let's go. Heather, yep. you are awesome. Thank you. Uh, you Preston. were one of the first people to instantly say yes and answer my text message fast and just be like on it. Um, thank you from even from back in the day, we yeah. were both just on the come up and it's, it's a, a very abundant thing to say, Hey, let me show you to my audience, right? That, that game that we played was very such true. a very, it's, it's just comes abundant, from abundance. so real, so real. And we just felt each other. That's so real. We met in the abundance frequency. That is so That's real. Fucking <laughs> crazy. Y'all. I, I tell my students this, they don't, they, I, they, I'm thinking it's landing for them. We yes. didn't even know each other. I don't I know. think we I have, know. Have we been in, we've been in the same room before. We, I think we met recently in person because yes. I remember go. you, you were like, for me, you were good on the handshake. You knew how to yes. do this. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, this is so yeah. awesome. It, it's been like 10 years and we just met recently, right? Oh, no. like way before that, it was just like, ah, okay. Presence. Yeah. In that part, right? Yep. Resident. There's there's people in this space who are fakers and there's people yep. who's actually living this shit every single day and yep. real recognizes real. So yep. make sure you follow her. Thank you. I love you. I appreciate you. I love you. I appreciate you. So grateful for you. And yes, infinite blessings of abundance and wealth to the rest of this and to all of it. And so it is.